as the park open, as it's their tradition. But I'd also like to honor America in maybe a little different way, by invoking the words of our 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt, when he's making his arguments against any individual, any organization, any nation, living a life of ignoble ease. And he penned these words. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, though checkered by failure, than to take company with those poor, timid souls that neither enjoy much nor suffer much, for they live in the great twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. And so as we think about how we honor America, I would submit to you very strongly that the participants that we have here, the uh, mission partners that we have, most notably Space Florida and the Association of Man Vehicle Systems International, honor America every day by their willingness to dare mighty things. So once again, the world comes to Florida to dare mighty things. And with that being said, I'd like to uh, introduce the Chief Operating Officer of Space Florida, Jim Kuzma. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, not only Florida, but we'd like to welcome you to the Space Coast and, uh, and affectionately to the Visitor Center here at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, it's, ama it's amazing for us, for Space Florida, to be able to do, host this event. Uh, I thank you on behalf of the President of Space Florida, uh, Frank DeBello and our board of directors, one of who is here today. Uh, but it's nice that the spirit of innovation that lives on the Space Coast is going to provide this unmanned systems demonstration of technology. We're excited for our, our participants, both the ground-based unmanned systems and the aerial systems. I'd like to thank up front our partners, Kennedy Space Center, the Visitor Center, as well as the 45th Space Wing locally for helping this matter. And with that, I'd like to introduce a man who uh, our relationship has gone back about two years now when Space Florida and AVSI began talking about this event when I first met Mike. And uh, today, Mike, it's a reality. I'd like to introduce the president of AVSI, Mr. Mike Toscano. Thank you, Jim. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say a very warm, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are here today and those that we're thinking about that aren't with us here, but are in our hearts. Um, when you look about unmanned systems, and before I do that, I wanna thank Jim personally for all the heavy lifting that he's been doing to make this event come to a reality. Uh, there's always one person that you can point to that has to coordinate everything to make it all work and all come together, and Jim has been that man. Uh, he's had a lot of help with everyone else. I want to speak, uh, thank the Space Florida folks, as well as the Kennedy Space Center folks for all the hard work that they've done to make this come to a reality. And why would we do this? Well, when you look, look about unmanned systems, it's a revolutionary technology on an evolutionary path. This is going to be part of our lives as we get more and more utilization or understanding of how this technology is going to help us in the commercial applications that exist out there. So this is a very exciting time, and this is an opportunity to help educate not just the public, but the regulatory people, the decision makers, of how this technology can improve every aspect of our lives, doing things that are much more effective, more efficient, and most of all, saving lives. So I made sure that I would keep this uh, on time to make sure we get ready for the 10 o'clock demo. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Jim and say thank you very much, and welcome to Space Florida and Kennedy Space Center. Thanks, Mike. Uh, very quickly, uh, one of the distinguished chairman of, or uh, members of the board of directors of Space Florida, Danny Guyquad, is here, and I'd like to ask Dan just to say a brief remarks. Thank you, and good morning to everybody. You can see the beautiful Florida today is in the air, and 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 our staff especially. Uh, let me tell you about Space Florida. It has a board of directors, which are appointed by the governor, Rick Scott and he gives us a specific missions, but all the missions are usually carried out by the Jim and his team and Frank, and they've been working hard for this event. I don't know how long. I have never seen a drone this close in my life, so this is also an event for me, myself, too, and I hope you guys are gonna have a good time today. 
and welcome to Space Florida. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for uh, very kind words and appropriate words uh, as we get ready to kick off this unmanned systems demonstration. I would uh, like to direct your attention to your programs. You'll see there's a number of events here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. Uh, if you look off to about your 4 o'clock uh, from your perspective in the stands, you see the white and blue building, which is the IMAX theater. There will be uh, static displays and booths set up there. At about 3 o'clock, towards the rocket garden where you came in, perhaps uh, this morning, but certainly the main entrance to the visitor's complex is the deepest center for those of you that have uh, the appropriate uh, wristband for uh, the VIP uh, courtesy room there. But also, and perhaps most importantly, uh, where the uh, buses uh, depart and arrive is uh, just about uh, at your 2 o'clock. You can see uh, the orange sign over there. Uh, that's where you can uh, catch the bus to go out to the Exploration Park, which is about uh, 0.8 miles south of here, where the actual demos will be going on. And, and also we'll have uh, downlinks uh, here uh, pretty quickly. We'll be uh, emceed by Grant Begley, uh, who's on site at Exploration Park uh, to uh, uh, give you the details about the various demonstrations that uh, we have there. Also, I'd like for you to go in and really uh, commend it to your attention. I had the great honor of being the Chief of Staff here at the Kennedy Space Center after 25 years in the United States Marine Corps. Um, and uh, the magnificent work, the good and noble work that went on by our nation is really depicted here behind me in the uh, Atlantis building. Please take time to go see uh, that very storied uh, space vehicle. So with that being said, let's go dare mighty things. Thank you.